Hey guys, what is up? This is Kwamwell here and today I'm doing a tutorial on uh, ZAMP or XAMP or uh, XAMPP which is a it is an easy to install Apache distribution containing MySQL, PHP and Perl. Just download and install and start the installer. It's that easy. Okay, so I've already downloaded the installer and uh, I'm using uh, PHP 5.6.8 yeah so I've downloaded this one and once you click on that you go to the success page okay so I would already downloaded this once but uh, there was some kind of a problem so let me just show you yeah so the problem was that um, I actually had to change the MySQL password uh, and stuff to if I wanted to make a database and stuff, but uh, what actually happened was this uh, by default this index file, which I'll explain later, uh, actually had the entire website on it. So um, okay, wait, I'll get to that later. First, let me just start the installer. Start the installer. Yep, it's here by Bitrock. It's all cool, man. Uh, okay, so yeah, where were we? Okay, here. So, uh, I actually just, I didn't know that I was supposed to make a different page and then a uh, different folder and then do some stuff like that. So, what's this? It seems to be, ah, continue. Important, blah, blah, blah. Next. Okay, so, um, everything. So I don't I need PHP my admin. I don't need a fake send mail, do I? Okay, I'm not sure exactly what I had. But uh Okay, I didn't have Tomcat, yeah. So no Tomcat, but program languages, PHP and Perl required. Next it's gonna be stored in C XAMP. The selected folder is not in Okay, so before I click on that, uh so this was the problem. I messed with this main index file, and now I can't change my MySQL password and stuff. I, I don't. I mean, there, there. By default, there is no password, but you need a password while programming. So, what I am going to do is I will uninstall it real quick. I hope this doesn't cause a problem. Because, uh, well, there's already an installer going on and an uninstaller going on, so hopefully, there shouldn't be any problem. Uh, moving this plane, the game thing. Yeah, do you want to? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, yes. Okay, so I think it's gonna go now. Hopefully, it should go. So, um, I think uh, this is the uninstalling. Yeah, it's uninstalling. Okay, so I'll be back when it's done. Yeah, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, well, it's still un in un uninstalling. It's been almost like half a minute. But um, let me just tell you something. Uh, when you uh, search for PHP, you uh, on Google you will see this PHP dot uh, net some it's a proper website but when you download it it's, it's not exactly what you are uh, you would be looking at because uh, I think XAM XAMPP is the best or you can also look at WAMP well WAMP uh, doesn't have pull and XAMPP has pull and um, I think I think uh, I don't think WMP has that uh, mail no Tomcat and mail something uh, Mercury and uh, stuff like that which I don't remember. So uh, yeah, so this is the best thing if you want to do uh, PHP. Uh, let me just take you around the website. Uh, it's it's there for the Mac. It's there for windows obviously I'm using it and I and look at the applications uh, you can also get uh, WordPress Joomla 
CMS, Drupal, MediaWiki, PrestaShop, Moodle. Moodle sounds like noodle. OnCloud, Sugar CRM, Magneto. Magneto? Whoa, you can get Magneto? Zurmo, Testlink, DukoWiki, Osclass, P, HP, BB, ProcessWire, Sui. Uh, okay, I don't know any of these. Okay, I just know WordPress, Joomla. And yeah, that's about it. I only know WordPress and Joomla. Uh, okay, so when you first go to... Uh, oh, by the way, the website's name is ApacheFriends.org. Uh, it's, it's, it's made by some enthusiasts or something. Yeah, here. Promote the Apache web server and is home to the XAMPP project. XAMPP is an easy to install, blah blah blah. blah, blah. So, 10 years, huge com community, like us on Facebook and stuff like that. Well, not going there now. Uh, here's a video which you can just quickly check about. Okay, so, uh, okay, I think I should seriously come back after it's done. I'm taking too long. I want to get over within 9 minutes. So, be back in a minute. Okay, so the un uh, uninstallation is done. Now it's installing. It's unpacking all the files. So this this process is a. Okay, so I pressed uh, F5 by mistake, and Bandicam just stopped recording. So I I think uh, yeah, this thing should work. So if you want to access it, you just type local local host. Please work. Nope, it's not able to access the network. Is it, uh, it's not available right now. Could you please show me this? Okay, all the attempts. Ah, it's running. Yes. Yes, it's running. Finally. Okay, so now, okay, now I won't press F5. I'm not dumb. Just gonna reload it. And yep, it works. So now, this is the XAMPP splash dot PHP. So you just click on, uh, you have many languages. You can just click on English or French or Dutch or G G G I don't know what, how to spell that. Okay, English. And this is XAMPP 5.6. Point eight four PHP five point six point eight. I don't know what what was wrong with the high pitch stuff. So, okay, so you go to security, and uh, yeah, so these uh, are accessible for anyone by the net. Actually, is not running or is blocked by firewall. It's free accessible. So uh, basically, you need to make a um an uh, make a password or something like that by you click here? No, you can't click here. Uh, to fix the problem, so my ask, uh, simply use this. Okay. Allowed only for local host. Fine. Uh, move this. Move. Stay here and stay quiet. Aha! Uh -huh, here it is. So uh, all you had to do was click over here. It's that easy. And this is what opens up. Uh, so the super user is root, but this needs a uh, it needs a, a user and a password. So and then you just click on this safe plain password and text file. You can you could do that or not. It's all up to you. But uh, for now, uh, since I'm in a hurry, I won't do it right now. But I'm gonna show you how to start out uh, really quick over here. So once you're in your HD docs, all you have to do is. Uh, so this is the file that was working. See, this is the index and PHP, and look over here, localhost slash xampp slash index dot php. See, it's the same file. So you don't, you don't want to mess with that. No hello world, no bullshit like that. Okay, no bullshit, no bullshit, just no bullshit. Okay, then uh, you want a new folder. You can make a new folder or just a new file, and uh, okay. So let me just show you with a new file. You can just make a new PHP file. For making a new PHP file, you could either use uh, where, where did I go? Ah, uh -huh, knee. Yeah. 
So you could either use Notepad++ or you could use uh, you can use Eclipse. So I I don't have Notepad++, so I already made this with Eclipse, and uh, I'd already written something. So uh, the basic syntax of PHP. I hope you guys know uh, at least a little bit of PHP. At least how do you, how do you start it or something like that. And then I just do the most basic stuff any programmer or any coder has code coder has ever done in his entire life it's a hello world Hold, uh, no syntax error please uh, yeah and now just say control s and now what you want to do is uh, change this so since you kept it in the same folder all you have to do is type knee dot php the f well You say what? So wait for what I did, and you say oh. I say oh. Okay, this ain't working. So wait, let me just try using a new folder, and I'll just call it web. And uh, take this control X web, paste it, and I'll just be like localhost slash web slash knee dot php yep here it is yay here it is yay here it is yay here it is yay here it is hello world hello world my name okay let me just add this little bit of coding line just we well, just one more okay my uh, my name, name is S Q A M A M A L. So now what you're gonna see here is it won't be in a. Uh, it'll be in. A